was, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke, the language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life, and that, with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of a desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There's only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have no meaning. So George, in the time that I've gotten to know you, I know that you two have a really big heart, that you love fiercely and you forgive when you need to. You work hard and you share your success. You make the best of any situation and you put your family first too. In the past three years since we've met, you've quite literally changed every part of my life for the better. Better sister, daughter, and friend because of your unwavering belief in me. You do the hard work, you do it daily. <laughs> you in turn expect no less of me. I know a lot of this in part is due to Stephanie, who I want to thank for entrusting her son's heart to me. And I won't let you down. In the joining of our hearts at this moment, I promise to always move forward together through this life with love, tenacity, and compassion for each other. I promise to hold your hands in the quiet and trying times that are interwoven through the bigger moments of my life, of our lives, because you aren't just in my life, you are my life. We're not supposed to kiss yet, right? No. Nope. Okay, all right. <laughs> time, but it wasn't until I came to San Francisco and met a girl that I found my home. <sighs> Whew. <laughs> Ah, I have to put together. Um, 
Uh, if I had gone to the Boston Marathon the day of the bombing instead of my interview with Localytics, and if I didn't get the opportunity to open up an office in San Francisco, I wouldn't have even been in the same state as this girl. I wouldn't have found my home. To think about everything it took to get two people on different coasts who were watching South Park and action movies, listening to smooth R&B in 80s, into fitness but not afraid to order a double vodka soda, two people who were soulmates and didn't even know it, to this moment right here today is incredible. It makes me the happiest and luckiest man alive. I promise to make you happy and to choose us over me. I promise to get 1% cleaner every year. I promise to cherish you, to be your best friend, and be your husband. I'm not the man I am without you. You're the best person I know. I'm so excited to get to spend the rest of my life with you, see the world grow and grow old together. I love you, babe. Burn it up, going crazy like a wildfire. Flames running through my soul like lava, yeah. Sunset burning on the golden shore Never seen a view like this before The stars, they shine like diamonds in your eyes Black dress on you, got me hypnotized I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away, I keep feeling away about you No, I can't look away, no, I can't look away, no, I can't look away cause I need you my heart keeps beating like an island drum Cause you're my only one You make me feel so good The champagne stars You make me feel like I'm forever young Cause you're my only one You make me feel so <laughs> Knowing all of this about her, I knew that whomever she married one day would be the very luckiest guy. And Adriana met George. And something happened. She walked a little taller. She relaxed a little. That seems to be a theme. Um, <laughs> she found someone to share her love of dance parties Great wine, fancy nights out, and cozy nights in. You been running circles in my head. Oh, I could have a thousand dreams about you.